All right, all right, you little crypto notch, you little crypto miners. You have waited. You have been patient. And it's finally starting to happen. Graphics cards are starting to come down in price at a little bit faster pace than a trickle here, 1% there, 2% there. It is now coming down. And we'll jump right into it. Newegg. I use Newegg as my barometer on pricing. Not so much eBay. Uh, you can go to StockX as well, StockX.com, and get an idea of what people are bidding on graphics cards. Because those guys are mostly resellers who get the uh, GPUs using retail bots from Walmart, Target, uh, what's that crappy store, Best Buy, uh, and Amazon. And then they get them at MSRP and they flip them to StockX. They put them out there for a higher price to get a couple hundred bucks plus their credit card points. And that's how they roll. And that's fine. That's how I got my GPUs when I started because I could not get a card. I ended up buying laptops and uh, try to do a pre-order through Lite or someone, have a pre uh, a, a custom-built uh, PC made. They said they had graphics cards, graphics cards in stock. They lied to me. They didn't. And they still charged me a cancellation fee on the order. Totally corrupt company. Stay away from them. Uh, yeah, that was a bad experience. So I got so mad. I said, I got to get a graphics card. I'm not going to pay scalper prices. Jumped into the retail bot world. Took a while to figure out how to do all that crap. Spent some money. But I was then dropping GPUs into my, uh, my front doorstep from Amazon and um, where else? Uh, Best Buy, I think. And uh, I was getting them at MSRP and uh, sometimes cheaper with the special offer ID codes you do when you use retail bots. So nothing wrong with it. I was I, That was the only way I was going to get into mining. I wasn't going to drop out too much money. But having said that, at 1.1 giga hash later, I dropped out a bit of a, a lot of money to get going with that. And I should have trickled in slower, but I didn't. I didn't care. I figured I'm getting these cards in. And they weren't making many cards at the time. I was thankful for the ones I was able to score or um, cop on the retail bots and get them shipped to me. And uh, ones I didn't like, like some of the AMDs, I did resell. And that was done because eBay, when you sell on eBay, you don't know if you're going to get scammed by the buyer. And you're paying eBay in a horrible 14%. So you're not making any money at all. You're actually probably losing money uh, reselling on eBay, which is a nightmare. Uh, the best thing to do, if you're going to resell, resell to a middleman who has to sell to stores. Uh, yeah. But anyway, that's another story. I did use retail bots. That's why I got the cards. Now we are seeing, uh, like I said, Australia is able to buy cards and an MSRP, and they are available. And now I'm seeing on Newegg, which is my barometer, prices coming down. Every card I kind of like, I put into my save for later, and I go back and look and see what's going on. Like I just got a notice from my little bot I have running. It goes out and scrapes Newegg for um, new GPU listings or new prices or new in-stock alerts. And I just run a little Python script that just sits there and goes, oh, hey, there's a price change or there's a new product. Let's send out a message. And that goes to my Discord. So if you want to join my Discord, guys, knock yourself out. It's right here. The link's in the description below and I have in-stock alerts. And this is where I look now and then. I can kind of see, hey, look what's in stock. Sometimes the prices are not the greatest, but it gives you an idea of what's going on out there and what's available and what you can spend if you're if you're looking for a card versus as an alternative to going to a a, a retail bot and spending the money on that because it does cost money and time and you got to do a lot of configuration a lot you know with accounts and that it's a it's a lot of work to do a retail bot all right let's go back so here's my discord go sign up make yourself a better a better informed miner now just come in and share share what you know share your picks uh, help everybody else out that's the way this community grows and we keep the mining community alive. And uh, yeah, knowledge is great. Share, share, share. So what are we looking at? We got a Zotac. And it says lowest price, baby, in 30 days. And we're down to 459 schmackaroos. The only bad thing with um, Newegg is you pay shipping and tax. Uh, Amazon, if you are in the Prime thing, which is pricey in itself, you do get some you know, free shipping on your, uh, on your items and uh, tax as well. But, you know... The tax and shipping adds up, and uh, tax mainly. It's a pain in the butt. But here we see the price coming down on a 1660 Super 60. Not a bad little card, you know? Not bad at all. You get 32 mega hash mining Ethereum out of this, and it's drawing about, let's go over here, 1660 Super. Kablamo, right here. I got a bunch, baby. And I'm getting 31.51, and they're drawing, oh, a little more than I thought, 75, 77 watts of power, 76. All right. 
a little more energy hungry than these 6060 uh, 6600 XTs. And here we have one. This is 539, still above my comfort zone of $500. Because again, like I said, you got to add in the tax and the shipping. And I don't like that. That starts to add up too much. So this is one in my list. I like the Cypher Nitro Plus 6600 XT because it is a card that is all stuff and no fluff. No fancy little buzzy LEDs, two fans and a board and a heat sink and a, you know, a card to plug into your PCIe slot. And that is all, man. That is all you need. And I have this card and it just makes 32 mega hash on ETH hash and I'm happy. But I got it under 500 last time, maybe months ago. But again, that's a little bit high for me. Tax and shipping added in. You're talking eh, 540, 560, $20. Yeah, you're getting up. In, it's getting closer to six. I don't like that at all. But it's in my watch list. So there you go. All right, the Zotac we saw. This is the lowest price in 30 days. Look at this thing. All stuff, no fluff. Same thing. Plug that little puppy right in. And, uh, you know, little little high yet. But uh, just keep an eyeball on it. And then you get that puppy plugged in, you're going to get, uh, I don't know what you get on this. I'm not sure what you get on a, a, a 1660 Ti. I mean, oh, it's a 1660 Super. Sorry, I saw this. I thought it was a Ti. It's a 1660 Super. So again, 32 mega hash, baby. All stuff, no fluff. Uh, why do I say that? I got some 6600 XT Red Devils. Nothing but LEDs all over it. It's stupid. I don't care about that crap. I just want the stuff to mine. I'm not a gamer. I'm not going to have it in an IC through case. They're in a wood rig right now in a grow tent. Uh, and I don't care about the fancy colors. All right, new egg. Let's go over here. Here is my wish list. Not wish list, my save for later cart. So you can see some of the prices on a 1660 Ti. Nothing wrong with these older cars. Um, cards. I uh, Let's see. I, I don't want to get any more of these big puppy cards like the 3080s. Got, uh, they're just too massive and they draw too much power. I'd rather get a bunch of little cards I can maneuver around. I don't know. That's just the way I'm just thinking right now. But I don't want to spend any money at this time. Here we have a uh, 1660 Super again. There must be a, a, a massive product dump on these cars because all different brands are dumping the 1660 Supers. Maybe because the new NVIDIA cards are coming out, the 440 series eventually, and these cards aren't going to be selling. But I'll buy them. I don't care. I'm not proud. If they drop lower, like here we got a 13% drop. This 1660 Ti had a 12% drop, and the drop is excellent in, a, in and of itself. But what is also great is you don't see the out of stock on some of these. You see move to cart, move to cart. These things are available to buy, but again, I'm going to wait till they drop because yeah, it's shipping and tax, and it's an it's not a it's not a of interest to me as of yet. Oh, uh, we got two of these guys. So people are, are gobbling up the 1660 Super. This one was for 349. I can see why. Yeah. I can see that one. That one got gobbled up. That's the lowest price I've seen. Uh, this is three seventy nine on a 1660 Super. A little higher. This is a 6600 XT, five six or nine. Still too high. It's got to come down under five hundred. This one dropped one percent on the 6600 XT, eight gigabytes. Oh, what do you got? 1660 Super. They seem to be the ones dropping the most, which is very interesting. And that is down to 389 at 18%. So uh, let's go down further here. Hold on. 509 on the 66 XT out of stock. People are buying up those XTs. No, nah, maybe not. 499, not a bad. ASRock, nothing wrong with ASRock, right? There you go. Uh, 8 gigabytes, 499. 519, too much, way too much. See? It's a Zotac, too. I mean, that's not their. Nah, it works. Not one of the better cards, but it works. So again, that was what, 519? So Zotac may be being stubborn, a little greedy there. Look at that. When you get a 1660 Super, uh, 519 versus 389. And let's go to that cheap one. 389, 389, 3, 349. Look at that. 1660 Super. EVGA, not a bad brand. That is what you want, and it's out of stock. I, sh I, I saw this come in on my Discord page the other day, and I looked at it and said, I just don't want to spend any money right now. Uh, maybe if I get any money back in taxes, which I doubt, I'll buy one. But right now, I should have bought it, but I didn't. So but I'm just saying it was available for me to buy at the time. So that's the beauty of my Discord where it pumps out those alerts and you have a choice. Even gaming console. I think I have an alert on those for PS5s and Xbox if you want to buy those things and flip them because <clears throat> you buy them at MSRP and you flip them for like 300 more because people still want these things. Yeah. 
All right, guys, that is all I'm looking at. 10 minute video. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. So let me know what prices you're seeing and what you're watching. I'm curious. I'm going to wait. It is March. I'm going to wait another month and see what's happening. I'm just going to keep an eyeball on this, but I know things are trending down. And if you guys want to get some really uh, more information, you can actually go to StockX.com and or eBay. You can go to the research tab, type in a card you want. But it shows things that are selling but isn't always accurate on the price sold as because people may be bid on a price and never pay the guy. You know, it's just a rip off. So, yeah, you got to watch eBay. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not a big eBay fan. I think they got super greedy. Um, and if you're a seller, forget it. Forget it. You're not going to make any money. Yeah. You're not going to make any money on that, that, that turd, of a, turd of a website. But that is where we're at, guys. Let me know what's going on. Are you mining yet? Are you getting discouraged? Or what is happening as of right now? Uh, what are we at? Oh, man, we're still on 18 March, 2022. Ooh, baby, we got some green going on. We're going to break 3,000 on ETH. Going to break that 3K, baby. I am mining ETH in mine right now, all ETH right now. I just want to get a couple ETH. Uh, I like double. If you get two ETH, I sold my ETH before I was an idiot, and then it thing goes up to 4,000 bucks. I learned my lesson. I'm just going to hold until I can't hold anymore. I learned my lesson. I dumped two things, basic attention token. goes from 25 cents to a buck. I sold it at 25 cents. I'm such an idiot. And then uh, Ethereum, I sold at 1300 and the thing shoots up to 4000 I'm like, I can't win. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but my goal is just to hold until um, I do get back into the profit arena. And then when I start seeing profits again, I'm going to take some profit. And it worked really well for me with my equities in Tesla. I was up big on Tesla. I said, I'm taking my initial cost and dumping and selling that and keep the winnings in there. I'm going to be playing with house money. And that worked out great because then that house money kept making money and blah, 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 blah. Whereas I preserved and went back to fiat US dollar on my original investment, all in my Roth account too. So I'm not worried about paying this horrible taxation, which is theft. And uh, I get to keep my money and buy and sell stocks without worrying about the short and long-term bull crap. Uh, yeah. I made I already paid tax on that money. Why would I have to keep paying tax? It's just crazy. It's it's just uh, I don't know. Enough of that. That. Rah! All right, man. That is it, guys. Look at that sea of green. Sea of green. Keep mining. I think the uh, mining uh, ether mine, Ethereum mining profitability index went up from 3.5, 0.003 to 0.04. I think it jumped up a little bit. Yeah. So that's a good indicator. But we'll see what happens. We will see. All right. Go shopping for uh, graphics card. Drop me a note in the message below what you're seeing or what sites you like to buy your GPUs from. Because I just know StockX, Amazon, Newegg, eBay, and maybe. But I think people are so stupid as bidders on eBay. They keep bidding up during the week. It's like, you got seven days, dude. Just wait till the very end. And then you can set a price you're willing to pay. And you won't have to pay that price, but you'll set your happy price and then it'll automatically outbid the other guys. But, it, you know, unless they go higher than you, but then you already set your limit. You don't want to pay more than that much money. So why is it there all weekend and outbid the price? You're stupid. I don't know. But that's people went to public school. They don't have uh, critical thinking skills, man. Ah! All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm out, man. 13 minutes. I really. Oh, geez. Oh, well, who cares? It's all good entertainment. Yeah. Keep mining, folks. Keep mining. And I'll talk to you later. I'm going to go. I don't know. I'm going to watch Yellowstone.